G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. Today's video has been a long time coming. I'm going to present to you nine of the items in my Pink Floyd Blu-ray and DVD collection in the order from least to most expensive, ranging from a few dollars to a few hundred dollars each. Let's go. Hi and welcome back to the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD and Blu-ray. Pink Floyd has been one of my favourite bands for many years and I'm so glad that Pink Floyd have decided to re-release many of their classic albums in high resolution Blu-ray audio and DVD audio and often with surround sound or Atmos mixing. Pink Floyd has a really timeless sound which appeals to older fans and also newer fans alike. All right, so let's get started with this countdown. Nine. Coming in at number nine, this is the cheapest item in my collection and it is Pink Floyd's movie version of The Wall. This DVD cost me six dollars and one cent two years ago and that included free postage. The music in this album is excellent and if anyone who is involved in producing and releasing surround sound mixes for Pink Floyd, please hear this message. We want the wall in surround sound. Thank you. Eight. The next item on my list is also a DVD and I got this one for $9.95 Australian with free postage on eBay and it is Pink Floyd, Live at Pompeii, The Director's Cut. This is a really nice DVD. It's got live footage of Pink Floyd in their earlier days, and the live footage is interspersed with little scenes of lava and volcanoes and space. It's very cinematic, almost like a mixture between a movie and a documentary, and a concert. It features some earlier songs by the band. There are a couple of tracks from Dark Side of the Moon, but most of the songs come from the era before that, from albums such as Metal and A Saucer Full of Secrets. At this price, it's a really good item to have in your collection, and I rate it highly. Okay, next on the list, this cost me $29.46 on eBay with free postage and it is the Blu-ray version of the classic concert Delicate Sound of Thunder. Now Delicate Sound of Thunder is one of my favorite Pink Floyd concerts. It's got a great selection of songs, it's got the band playing at what is almost I would say the peak of their career and even though it no longer has Roger Waters I think that this is such an important Pink Floyd experience. The picture quality in this video is outstanding. It's all been re-edited and upscaled and the sound quality in 5.1 surround is also incredible. I highly recommend Delicate Sound of Thunder on Blu-ray. Coming in at number six on my list, I have the 2018 version of Animals. This is a Blu-ray audio and it is an absolute classic album. Now this item cost me $43.99 brand new from a bricks and mortar store here in Australia. This is one of the most progressive albums that Pink Floyd ever made in my opinion. The use of the instruments is outstanding and when you hear this album in 5.1 surround sound, Blu-ray audio, it's just a brand new experience. I've been listening to this album for many years, but when I first popped in the surround sound Blu-ray audio, it just blew me away. It's like I was hearing the album for the very first time again. And that's why I love collecting these Blu-ray audio versions of classic Pink Floyd albums. Five. Speaking of Blu-ray audio re-releases, this is the next item on my list at $44.28 Australian, brand new from a bricks and mortar store. We have Dark Side of the Moon and this is the Dolby Atmos mix. I haven't heard the Atmos mix because I don't yet have an Atmos setup 
in my house, but I'm slowly working towards one. I've got an AV receiver now. Uh, I've got my surround channels and one day I'll get around to putting some height channels in. Now if you only have a surround setup like me, that's totally fine because there's a 5.1 surround mix on this disc as well as a high res stereo mix. Now some diehard Pink Floyd fans were understandably a little bit upset when this standalone release uh, was issued because they had spent hundreds of dollars on the immersion box set and when this standalone version came out it made that expensive box set redundant because it has just about everything that the box set had except of course for the marbles and scarves. Alright coming in at number four on my list I have the mini box set of A Momentary Lapse of Reason and by sheer coincidence this item also cost exactly $44.28. I'm pretty sure I used a discount coupon and I got it brand new from a bricks and mortar store. This version of the album has some new drum parts and also I believe some new keyboard parts which overall makes the album sound less 80s to my ears. This box set includes a CD and a Blu-ray. The Blu-ray has a 5.1 surround sound mix and again Listening to this album in surround sound just blew me away. The quality of the audio is fantastic and it's a really good discrete mix with different instruments and tracks coming through different channels, hitting you in different directions. I highly, highly recommend this version of A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Okay, now we're down to the top three most expensive items in my Pink Floyd collection. Number three is the Blu-ray edition of Pulse, which cost me $71.20, brand new from a bricks and mortar store last year. Now I owned this concert on DVD many years ago, and when I moved house, I somehow managed to lose the case. I've still got the original discs, but I always intended to replace the DVD Instead of that, I paid a little bit more and I got the Blu-ray version. If you have never seen the Pulse concert, then you really need to do something about that quickly. I really appreciate the high res audio and the high picture quality on this Blu-ray version. And another really cool thing about this release is it's got a little flashing beacon in the spine. If you're a Pink Floyd fan and if you're a collector, you must have this item on your shelf. Okay, coming in at number two, this is the second most expensive item in my whole Blu-ray and DVD collection. It cost me $245.86. What is it, you ask? It is the immersion box set of Wish You Were Here. Look at this, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love the cover, it's really reminiscent of a Magritte painting and inside there's lots of cool stuff. There's four CDs, there's an art print, some booklets and some marbles, a scarf, some replica concert tickets and more. But the most important thing in this box set for me is the Blu-ray version of Wish You Were Here in 5.1 surround sound. Wish You Were Here is such a beautiful album and it's probably my favorite Pink Floyd album of all time. And if you're a fan of Pink Floyd and if you love the Wish You Were Here album, like I do, I really recommend at least considering investing in this item. I'm sure you won't regret it. One thing that you should be aware of if you're thinking of buying this item, I got mine brand new and still sealed but by the time it got to me, all the discs had come loose inside the box and I was so disappointed. The way that the discs are secured in this box set is really not secure and they probably will come loose and get scratched. So just be mindful of that. But if you do unfortunately get some scratched discs, I've got a great video which shows you how I polish those scratches out. All right, you made it to number one. Thank you for staying this long. This is hands down the most expensive thing that I've ever bought for my 
Blu-ray and DVD collection. And it cost me, including international shipping and import taxes, a total of $392.27. Do I regret spending that money? No, not really. Because this is the one and only 20th anniversary edition of The Division Bell. Now this has got a lot of stuff in it. In fact, I recently made an unboxing video, which I will link, and that shows you everything that's inside. It's got some vinyl, it's got some art prints, it's got some booklets and other memorabilia. But actually, the one reason why I spent nearly $400 on this item is because I really wanted the Blu-ray audio. I hunted down this item and I think I got it for a pretty good price because I've seen it listed for much higher than what I paid. Now if you want the Blu-ray audio disc there's only two ways that you can get it. The first way is in this box set and the other way that you can get it is in the Pink Floyd later years box set which is the ultimate Pink Floyd collectible, but that's gonna cost you at least $1,000 and the price is only going to go up over time. For me, I couldn't quite justify spending that much money all at once. Although, if you add up all the items that I've shown in this video, it's kind of getting close. Anyway, I highly recommend the Division Bell 20th anniversary. It's very expensive, it's highly coveted, and it's rare. I understand it's not for everyone, but if you are a die-hard fan and collector like me, you might just want to consider tracking this one down. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for staying to the end. Now, I've talked about my favorite Pink Floyd albums and my favorite Pink Floyd items. What is your favorite Pink Floyd item? Let me know in the comments. Please hit like and subscribe, share the video with your friends, and make some time to enjoy watching your music. I'll see you in the next video.